If one wants to investigate if and how cells are affected by a certain treatment, the colony formation assay, which is also known as the clonogenic assay, might be the perfect method to study that. The main question that can be answered with this simple but extremely informative assay is how can a specific treatment affect cell survival and cell proliferation? The colony formation assay is often used to investigate whether proliferation is affected by either irradiation or a drug. In this video, the method is explained with cells exposed to a drug. In our example, a researcher wants to compare the effect of a drug on wild-type and mutant cells. Those mutant cells could resemble a cancer cell line which has some mutated genes. Both cell lines are grown in culture and in the first step the cells need to be counted. This can either be done by hand using a cell counting chamber or by automated cell counting systems. After counting the cells, the aim is to prepare a cell suspension with a defined number of cells, in this example 1000 per milliliter. A calculation of that is shown here for the wild type cells. In this example, cells are exposed to three different treatments, with two replicates each. That makes a total of 6 ml with 6000 cells if one assumes to fill each of the wells on a 6 well plate with 1 ml. Please pause the video here if you would like to follow the whole calculation. If you have questions regarding that, ask them in the comment section. From the original wild type cells, 5 microliter cell suspension needs to be diluted in 6 ml of medium to have a final concentration of 1000 cells per milliliter. Now 1 ml is pipetted into each of the wells to reach an equal cell density of 1000 cells per well. The same calculation and process is done with the mutant cell line. The cells are given time to attach to the plate overnight. The following day, the cells can be treated with increasing concentrations of a drug of interest. As a control, two wells are left untreated. Each condition is prepared twice to have technical duplicates. The same could be done with irradiation instead of using a compound. But back to the example with the drugs. The plates are incubated for several days. The incubation time can vary from 7 to 14 days depending on many factors such as cell line and compound. While waiting, you have all the time in the world to like this video. Meanwhile, zooming into a plate, one can observe that some single cells that were seeded before proliferate. Those small aggregates will later be classified as colonies. After approximately 10 days of incubation, the plates can be observed. Small dots can already be seen on the plate, but it is hard counting them like this. To facilitate the counting of colonies, a staining is performed. After removing the medium, the cells are fixed in 70% ethanol for 10 minutes. The ethanol is aspired and the plates are left to dry for some hours. Next, the cells can be stained for some minutes by using a dye such as crystal violet. A subsequent washing step removes all the purple bluish background color and only the colonies are clearly observable after the staining. Now the colonies can be counted. Of all technical duplicates one can take the average. And in both cases the control is set to 100% since it is the maximum number of colonies that form without any treatment. The data can be plotted and one can observe that mutant cells were way more susceptible to the drug treatment compared to the wild type cells. That result can help to discover that specific mutations in tumors of cancer patients might be beneficial for treatments with certain compounds. And if you already wondered how I created those beautiful graphs here, I may present the sponsor of today's video, GraphPad Prism. GraphPad Prism is a versatile statistics tool that helps researchers move from data to elegant publication quality graphs with ease. With Prism you can get a head start by entering data into tables that are structured for scientific research and guide you to statistical analyses that streamline your research workflow. Explore what Prism has to offer with a free 30-day trial. Link is in the video description. 
thanks for watching. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell and leave a like if this video was helpful to you.